Hey everyone. So I know how much the latest Oxygen OS 10 updates have troubled you. And some of you have even rolled back to Oxygen OS 9 because of those annoying heating issues and app crashes. But I think we have a better alternative as of now. So I tried using Oxygen OS 10 port from OnePlus 7 for our devices. And the results were, well, quite surprising. So stay tuned till the end of video to know more about it. And before we begin, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon to stay notified about new videos. It's free and helps the channel out. So the flashing process is as easy as 1, 2, 3. You just have to download the zip file of this port from link in description area. Now extract the zip file in your PC and restart your OnePlus 6 or 60 in fast boot mode. And now for the final step in this process. Double click on Flasher Force 5 broadband file on your PC. And this will start installing the room itself. And all you have to do now is wait for 10 to 15 minutes. And your device will restart itself to the latest open beta port from OnePlus 7. Do note that you will get this error on every boot. It's normal, so nothing to worry about in that. So my initial impressions were like, everything is surprisingly smooth and stable. And I face no lags or issues anywhere. But let's dive deeper and get to know if this port can serve as Oxygen OS 10 replacement for our devices. So the new features OnePlus 60 users will get are, firstly the newer fingerprint animations from OnePlus 7 series which OnePlus hasn't added in the past one year or so. So that sounds cool and I hope you'll be glad to see this as well. Apart from this, you will see some additional options in the always on display as well, thus giving you more customization over your standard ones. And that's a welcoming change. You also get some more customization options in the overall icons and system UI as well. One additional feature this room brings is horizon light or edge lighting feature. And this is something OnePlus 60 users will love, as it proves out to be really handy when new notifications arrive. So that has made its way all the way from OnePlus 7. And I also ran N22 benchmark and it got a respectable score of 3,54,000. As mine is a 60B variant, so the score will be a bit less. And also the ROM is not an official stable version. But it's good as far as the overall score is considered. So these were the new add-ons in this room and as usual rest all of the things do work just fine and there were no random app crashes or heating issues with my standard usage. So basically what OnePlus is not fixing in Oxygen OS 10, this room fixes all of that stuff. So indeed it's a great alternative to the stock Oxygen OS we have on our devices. And now we are left with only one single parameter and that is the battery backup. So I got around 5 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time on a single charge, which is quite better than the stable Oxygen OS 10 we have for this device. And the gaming performance was also surprisingly smooth. So yeah, I would use this ROM over the stock Oxygen OS 10.3.2 anytime. And flashing a custom kernel, such as radioactive kernel, can yield even better results with day-to-day -day usage. And I truly feel OnePlus as a brand should have done all this and fixed our devices. But they chose not to. So let's see what they have for us in future. So that's it for this video. Like this video if it helps you out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.